Hello, my fellow gardeners, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this new video in which we will explore together the cultivation of pomegranates, from planting to harvesting, including pruning and maintenance, to ensure successful cultivation and beautiful yields. I hope you enjoy this video. I want to thank you already because the first videos I posted seem to please you. However, there haven't been any comments yet, and it would be nice if one of you could tell me in the comments if the translation of the videos is good. As you know, for those who have seen the first videos, I translate all the videos on my French channel using artificial intelligence, so I would love to know if the proposed translation is accurate. Thank you in advance, and I wish you a pleasant viewing. 1. Presentation The pomegranate is a deciduous fruit-bearing shrub belonging to the family Punicaceae. It is a semi-hardy shrub that is easy to maintain and can reach a mature height of approximately 1 to 16 feet, depending on the variety. There are several varieties that produce fruits, but scientists have also succeeded in developing dwarf varieties for container gardening and flowering varieties cultivated for their aesthetic appeal. Fruiting varieties are all self-pollinating and, therefore, do not require other nearby subjects for production. Flowering typically occurs from late spring to summer, with harvest taking place from late summer to autumn, depending on the varieties and climate. Two, soil and exposure to sunlight. Pomegranate cultivation is quite straightforward. Indeed, the shrub thrives in various soil types, as long as it is well drained yet sufficiently moist in depth. If your soil tends to be calcareous, you'll make your pomegranate quite happy. In terms of exposure, favor a warm, sunny location sheltered from the wind. Ideally, choose an area near a south facing wall. 3. Planting Planting is best done in spring, avoiding frost periods. In case of severe cold, postpone planting as much as possible but do so before foliage emerges. Multiplication is achieved through cuttings. Once you have found the perfect location for your shrub, dig a planting hole that is wide and deep enough. To improve the soil, you can add compost and sand to facilitate establishment and drainage. Then, remove the root ball from the pot and gently break it apart to free a portion of the root system. Place the pomegranate in the hole, and if it is on a stem, position a stake near the trunk, be cautious of the roots. Fill the planting hole, compacting the soil well, and secure the tree to its support using a tree tie. Water generously. For potted pomegranate, know that it is possible to plant the pomegranate in a pot. Choose a spacious container with drainage holes. Place a layer of clay pellets and fill the pot with a mixture of potting soil, sand, and vermiculite, also known as perlite. All that's left is to plant your shrub and water it generously. Smart tip. Maintain soil freshness by laying down a generous layer of natural mulch at the base of the pomegranate. However, avoid pine bark as it may make the soil more acidic. 4. Pruning Avoid pruning the pomegranate during planting. It's preferable to let the shrub grow freely for two to three years so that it adopts its natural bushy form. Once this form is established, conduct thinning by retaining only five to six main branches. Fruit production typically begins after four to five years, on the tips of branches aged two to three years. Occasionally, lightly trim the ends of the branches to bring flowering toward the center of the shrub. In conclusion, remove deadwood, crossed branches, and suckers. All these pruning operations should be carried out in spring, at the beginning of the growing season. Five. Maintenance and care. Once established, Punica granatum requires minimal maintenance. Only watering needs to be monitored during dry periods, especially for potted plants. For container-grown specimens, also plan for repotting every four to five years. In the meantime, 
Practice top dressing by adding a bit of compost at the base of the pomegranate. Propagation. If you want to obtain new pomegranate plants, propagate through semi-woody stem cuttings in late summer. Shelter your cuttings from cold in winter and transplant them the following spring. Diseases and pests. Despite being less hardy, the pomegranate is a robust shrub. It exhibits resistance to diseases and attacks from pests or parasites. 6. Harvest and storage. Harvesting pomegranates is done when the skin turns red and begins to crack, typically 135 to 160 days after flowering, depending on the varieties and climatic conditions. Storage. Pomegranates can be stored for two weeks at room temperature, up to a month in the refrigerator, and up to four months at a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. They can also be processed into juice or syrup for several months of preservation in an opaque, tightly sealed bottle. The recipe for grenadine syrup is as follows. Squeeze the seeds, removing the bitter white membrane. Strain and sweeten to taste. Up to 650 grams per liter of juice. Bring to a boil until the syrup coats at 101 degrees Celsius, 213.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Adjust acidity by adding lemon juice. Note. It's important to know that syrup sold under the name, grenadine, is rarely made from pomegranates but rather from red fruits and vanilla. Seven. Learn more about the pomegranate. With its 4 meter, approximately 13 feet, spread, the pomegranate can be considered either a small tree or a large shrub. Its deciduous leaves are shiny and oblong. In spring, they boast a lovely bronze color that gradually transitions to a soft green. The flowers are the pomegranate's main attraction. They appear in summer, revealing a vibrant, bright red. Measuring 3 to 4 centimeters, approximately 1.2 to 1.6 inches, in diameter, they take the form of a funnel with crinkled petals. In fall, the blooming may be followed by the arrival of spherical fruits with a reddish-brown hue, reaching up to 10 cm, approximately 3.9 inches, in diameter. However, the appearance and maturation of pomegranates occur only under specific conditions, typically in a Mediterranean climate. Elsewhere, the fruits may struggle to ripen. This video is now finished. Thank you for watching it until the end. I hope you enjoyed it, and, more importantly, that it was helpful to you. If that's the case, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up to encourage me to continue translating all of my French videos. Also, feel free to let me know in the comments if the artificial intelligence translation is correct or not. See you soon, friends, for the next video. Bye.